How fast will it take me to build a clone for this website using AI specifically with Klein? If you guys have been following me for a while now, you know that I have this belief that since building software as a services is going to become easier and easier with the advancement of AI, we must carefully think about the strategy of what we build and how we want to monetize our efforts. I stumbled upon this uh, website. It was published in a LinkedIn post uh, by a famous uh, marketer. And a lot of people said that this is an amazing idea and were very impressed. So I took a look. It is a nice idea, but uh, it seems very simple. And I'm kind of wondering how will it work financially for the founders. What this uh, website does or service does, it provides proofreading and spell checking for your website automatically. So they have different plans. Let's say the enterprise plan, which costs 99 bucks per month, scans the website every day, looks for spelling mistakes, grammatical errors, other contact errors, broken links, broken JavaScript, broken images, custom, and you can also define custom rules, and obviously you can cancel any time. So let's do a quick test of how fast can we just create this using Klein, which is a, an AI coding assistant. If you guys don't know what is Klein, I highly recommend that you check it out. It is the most powerful AI coding assistant uh, out there these days. It is also free. You only need to pay for the API calls. If you want to download it, you need to come here, Klein, previously Cloud Dev, and install it, and you have it over here. Now let's just do this very simple. Help me create a bot that upon providing let's do this uh, with the microphone a URL it will do the following let's do this again help me create a bot that upon launching all you have to do is provide the url and then it will do the following let's paste this scan for errors every day scan for spelling errors scan for grammatical errors etc uh, etc et let's use never mind i'm not going to tell it to use beautiful soup or anything let's see like this is the most simple and basic prompt that i could have given Let's see what happens. I'll create a website monitoring tool that can scan a URL for various issues. I'll structure this as a Node.js application since it's well suited for web scraping and analysis task. I need to create a new project director with the necessary file. Set up the core functionality. Let me start by creating a new project. So it's going to create a new project. And I didn't test this before. So let's see if it works and how long it will take. Let's save this. It's creating the readme file. Let's see the into website monitor, website monitor. npm install I think it's ready basically let's see I I would be surprised if it's already ready but let's see Let's change it to this. Let's do something different. Let's use Claude API for this. Scrape the website with beautiful soup for, and then take each page and send it to 
the API, return an Excel with all errors. Also, ask for user input for the URL and amount of pages to scan. Let's use the Kinter. Okay, so this approach didn't work. I need to probably provide slightly more um, information and instructions. Let's see what it's building now. Updating the README. Okay, let's website monitor. Let's see what we need to do now. Pip install the requirements. I probably need to provide the API key in a moment. Let's see the, the code. Website scanner. I can always ask continue, which is a, another coding assistance that I'm using to explain everything. So let's do this like this. Add comments. Write comments for this code. Just adding the comments. So define a class for the website scanner, initialize the GUI, create the main frame. Let's see, API input. Okay. Let's go back to Claude. If you probably ask me to provide the API key, let's cd into website monitor. Desktop website monitor. Invalid syntax error. Let's it here for client to fix it. It's going to sort this out. Let's fetch the API key for the meantime. API Claude. Adding the API key. This is how it goes when you do things live. They normally don't work out as you planned, but it is what it is. What can we do? This is, I hope. This will be interesting and I hope it will work because it's actually very useful. Okay. Let's 
python website scanner.py let's see what happens now let's read the instructions okay it's open the, the kinter api key let's add it my website ecomxf.com number of pages to scan let's say three pages start scanning the ui is nice not too disgusting but obviously once this is working what do we care analysis complete report saved at website analysis let's see i find it hard i'm i don't believe it's already ready i, I would be surprised let's see what's going on See if it's here. Let's adjust the code, please. Save the output in F reports website monitor. We need to create this folder website analysis no idea where it is at but let's see desktop website monitor ah, there you go website analysis let's see object has no attribute in message okay so got this error In a moment we will update it still if this takes me one hour i'm still happy got this error in the excel file not sure this is the issue but let's see error in analysis entropic object has no attribute messages i don't think this is the issue but let's let it finish probably the right thing to do is to check the code and see how exactly it's doing the API call but let's try being a bit more lazy without fixing it are you sure it's not related to the API call structure Okay, let's see what happens now. Let's close this. Let's read this. Okay. 
Okay, let's try again. HTTPS, ecomxf, three pages should be enough. Let's start the scan. Reports will be saved here. I still think it was too fast, but let's see. F reports. Folder is empty. Maybe it's still analyzing. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this might be it. Let's see. Okay, no spelling error found, no grammar error found, no technical issues found. Okay, I find it hard to believe. Let's try to fix this. Please analyze this web page content and identify issues in the following categories. For each category, list specific issues found, if any, or indicate no issues found. Format your response exactly like this example. Content to analyze. I'm not sure it did the analysis as it returned as if there were no errors. Let's see. I think it's also it also took um, a cloud model that we are not we are not interested in using. It's cloud two instead of the most updated cloud. And this is the issue. This is a mistake that I did. I was too lazy to validate the code because I was under the assumption that this is a simple task and it's going to work. But as you can see, because I I didn't validate everything at the get go which is a common mistake, I guess, I hope. The results are pretty bad, so now I'm just going to go over the whole code and let's see what's wrong with the code. Most of the, most of the issues I suspect are going to be around the prompt area, so let's see model we want to use the most capable anthropic model. Let's use Sonnet. Please change the function. Let's see. I want to use 3.5. Now these are simple things when you do this correctly without any skipping any phase it usually should work but when you assume that ai will know exactly what you mean or you write a shitty prompt or you don't validate the code this is what uh, usually happens and it's funny because this is a like a lesson that i've already learned but sometimes we need to suffer a bit before we implement the lessons that we've already learned so hopefully now it will work and this is a great reminder not to overlook the basic principles, which are always validate the code, always write better prompts. Now let's see what, what happens. Let's do this again. Okay, HTTPS, www.ecomxf.com, 
three pages is enough let's start the scanning I have a good feeling about this let's scan the code in the meantime using Claude with the new API okay let's see scan completed this is the newest error in analysis let's paste it as text in all cells of the excel file think step by step about the process please this is also something that happens a lot it's uh, issues of using incorrect or not updated packages so it happens also when you build a web app using Next.js if uh, the AI is using the structure of the old routing system in opposing to the new routing system in Next.js or here when you do uh, like as you can see the prompt uh, format or the API calls request it's using the old structure instead of the new structure so these are all issues that arise uh, when you're using AI without defining exactly the technical specs and just providing a well-crafted and detailed requirements and instructions now let's see what happens let's close this mm -hmm. Three pages HTTPS start scan okay it created the analysis I have a bad feeling about this this is the newest Nope. Use specific order. The newest versions. Let's see. See the website. monitor, mm -hmm. keep installed, requirements mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm.
Hopefully it will work now. I'm thinking whether or not I should have started from scratch and just provided more detailed instructions. This is something that I might do, but let's just see what happens now. And perhaps if this don't work, I will start from scratch, provide detailed instructions, and then it will work for sure because this isn't like a compli complicated task one line one file i mean of python so nothing crazy let's see okay this should be fine hopefully website monitor python website scanner dot Pi, let's close this to Kinter. Open this up. HTTPS. Free. Start scanning. Let's clean this. Let's see what's going on here. Now this is complete. Okay. Okay, no spelling errors found, no significant the content as Okay, I mean, let's see, no spelling errors found, that's fine. In this page, let's see, some content lacks clarity and specificity, such as the section who we are, which could provide more details about the company and services. The content is somewhat disorganized, with sections like testimonials and our latest product interrupting the flow of information about the company and its offering. Technical issues. The formatting of the testimonials section is broken with some quote repeatedly repeated multiple times. Some headings may be incorrect or inconsistent with the content they precede. Our latest includes non podcast content. Okay. Limited use of relevant SEO issues. Limited use of relevant keywords related to the company. Lack of meta description and optimized title tags for better search engine visibility. Headings could be improved to include more relevant keywords and better structure the content for SEO. Overall, while the content is generally well written and error free, there are opportunities to improve clarity, organization, technical formatting, and SEO optimization. Okay, let's see the next page. It's the same page actually, content. This is also the same page. Let's try a different page to see what happens. Let's try. <laughs> Let's try photoai.com, one page, start scanning. This is the website that we are going to scan. It's by the famous indie hacker Peter Levels. It's basically a website that allows you to manipulate your photos using AI. Let's see what it does. This is complete. Only one page. The content is generally clear and well organized. Some sections could benefit from additional de details or clarification, such as the try on close 2.0 section, which lacks specifics on how features work. The FAQ section is comprehensive and addresses many potential user questions. No major technical issues found in the content itself. However, there is a tooltip test with text in it line at the top 
which may be placeholders or unintended content. Don't know. The page title AI photo generator includes relevant keywords. The headings are used appropriately to structure the content. Meta descriptions could be improved to include more relevant keywords and compelling description of the service. Some images are a lack alt text, which is great, great insight, which could impact accessibility and image SEO. The content could benefit from additional internal linking and external authorities like links to improve SEO. Overall, the content is well written and informative with few major issues identified. However, there are opportunities to enhance the content clarity, technical optimization and SEO performance. Nice. So this is good enough. Now let's add a schedule. This is great. Now. How can we add a schedule for this? Perhaps in the front end. But I want to make sure we run this automatically. Maybe via CLI. Task scheduler. Let's see. Okay, let's create a CLI version of the scanner that can easily schedule that can be easily scheduled using Windows Task Scheduler. Create a new script that runs without a uh, GUI. Add command lines arguments for URL and pages. Create a batch file to run it. Provide instructions for setting up the scheduler. This way, you can have both the GUI version for manual scans and CLI versions for automated scheduling. Cool, so it's going to create us for us uh, a CLI version. And we can obviously set up a server and automate this from the back end. And this is a CLI version. What we can also do, can we also add an ability to automatically send an email with the Excel results after each iteration. So we are going to add an ability to adding uh, an email functionality. So yeah, this is pretty simple stuff. I mean, I think we started 45 minutes ago. It's already good to go. I'm not going to make this video any longer. Obviously, I might have a few more hiccups in the setup process. I need to connect the SMTP. But all in all, um, we have the infrastructure ready. It didn't take us too long. And it was already very powerful. Pretty similar to what they are, they are offering. I mean, all they have here is a front end. I guess I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna make assumptions. But I think they have a front end, and on the back end, they just use beautiful soup or a different scraping method to scrape the websites, the HTML. They can perhaps also take screenshots automatically. I use this uh, for manually taking screenshots, but they can take screenshots automatically using Python and then also analyze the screenshots. So basically crawling the whole website, fetching the HTML, scanning the HTML for grammatical errors or spelling errors, then crawling um, the whole website, taking screenshots, sending the screenshots to the model, let's say Anthropic or OpenAI looking for errors and just aggregating everything and then basically sending it over email. Pretty simple stuff. This can easily be built with a uh, cloud dev. Sorry, this is Klein or cloud dev. Um, I'm sure that if I invest two more hours in this, it's going to be ready. The only thing left is actually the marketing, which these days is becoming more and more challenging because I believe that the barrier to entry the barrier to building is becoming lower and lower, especially for non-complex softwares. So it's becoming more and more about the strategy and the business strategy and the marketing efforts. 
I guess that's it for today guys, I just wanted to share with you uh, some behind the scenes uh, example of how I use Klein, it's uh, not always perfect like uh, other YouTubes, YouTubers um, seem to uh, show. Obviously I have also videos that I just give you like the bottom line and stuff that is working after I did the iteration and the testing. But I wanted to do something slightly different today to show you um, the whole process, how I even skip principles that I know I shouldn't skip, such as validating the code every time, providing better instructions and stuff like this. But uh, we learn from every iteration and I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, if you did or if you didn't, leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe and until next time, keep on automating.